based on the myriad choices of revolvers still available in gun shops and from manufacturers' websites, semi-automatic pistols aren't the only firearms used for concealed carry. The typical snub-nose revolver still holds a prominent place in the handgun market despite semi-auto's ability to deliver more firepower per ounce downrange. Here we have what I consider to be the best revolvers for concealed carry. Smith & Wesson Performance Center 442 Enter Smith & Wesson's latest spin on a classic, the Performance Center Model 442, a dressed-up version of the iconic manufacturer's internal hammer design J-frame revolver. Hand-assembled and tuned to perfection, the 38 Special is the epitome of a serious concealed carry revolver, a cut above most everything on the market today. Smith & Wesson has trimmed down the weight of the 442 to a scant 15 ounces unloaded, mainly thanks to an aluminum alloy frame. Yet, boasting a polished five-chamber stainless steel cylinder, the Plus P-rated 38 is more than up for rough EDC treatment. This is an excellent personal protection firearm. The hammerless J-frame has snag-free rounding to being with, and in a good pocket holster looks like you've got a large smartphone. The Smith & Wesson J-Frames are iconic for their reliability and concealability, and the Performance Center 442 builds on both with significant value-added features without breaking firearm owners' budget. Ruger LCR 327 Federal Magnum The 327 Federal Magnum cartridge is an unconventional cartridge that first entered the market in 2007. Despite a relatively slow start, the cartridge has recently experienced a resurgence as manufacturers introduced new, highly reliable, and concealable revolvers compatible with it, such as the Ruger LCR 327. Although the LCR is an established name in the world of concealed carrying revolvers, with over a decade of presence on the market, the 327 version combines the gun's well-known traits with a cartridge full of potential for CC or applications. If you are unfamiliar with the Ruger LCR, it is one of the world's lightest self-defense revolvers. It is well known for employing a monolithic aluminum frame, a stainless steel cylinder, and a grip and trigger group housing made of polymers. The lightweight materials and 1.87-inch barrel result in a firearm weighing less than 20 ounces, making it easy to conceal carry. The diminutive five-round handgun is absolutely cutting edge when it comes to material use. Not only has Ruger turned to aircraft-grade aluminum for the gun's frame, but also polymers for its fire control housing. Combined with a highly fluted stainless steel cylinder, the LCR is among the lightest guns available today, a whopping 13.5 ounces. On top of that, Ruger's friction-reducing cam system makes the LCR among the easiest double actions to shoot well. Rock Island Armory M206 not a new concealed carry revolver by any stretch of the imagination, but well worth adding to the list. The M206 Spurless is a real workingman's 38 Special, short on glitz and glamour and long on performance. And above all, affordable. That's a rarity nowadays, but highly welcome. The M206 is not based on existing designs from Colt, Ruger, Smith & Wesson, or any other prominent revolver manufacturer. This 100% original design resembles many of the classic revolvers made during the 1950s and 1960s, with a blued steel frame and barrel, fixed sights, and a pair of old-style thin wooden grips. The M206 is available as either a standard DASI or a DAO revolver and accepts up to six rounds of 38 Special. Note that this revolver is not plus P rated, meaning you should only load standard pressure ammunition. Despite that, the M206 is an excellent low-cost handgun, ideal for shooters on a budget or people who want a safe first investment into concealable revolvers. Ruva GP144 Special Although 44 Special may not be the first choice for most people looking to conceal carry a revolver, there are two primary reasons to consider this big ball cartridge for self-defense. It is a big ball cartridge with recoil and stopping power approximately equivalent to 45 ACP 
and the availability of heavy, high-quality self-defense ammunition ranging in weight between 200 and 240 grains. If the 44 Special sounds like the self-defense revolver cartridge for you, you may want to consider the Ruger GP144 Special. Ruger originally built this revolver platform to handle heavy 357 Magnum loads, granting it exceptional durability. Although the GP100's durable construction makes it fairly heavy, even with the short 3-inch barrel, the weight can be an advantage as it helps tame the already mild recoil of most 44 special ammunition. This combination of handgun and cartridge will let you keep the sights on target and make the most of your 5-shot cylinder. Kimba K6 Kimba is generally known for its stunning and highly functional 1911 pistols, but recently, the company has begun to make a name for itself as a revolver smith. This has been due to the well-conceived and excellently crafted K6, a gun that seems to boast every must-have when considering concealed carry revolvers. Chief among them is the K6's wickedly light and slim design. At 23 ounces and outfitted with a 1.39-inch diameter cylinder, it is the lightest and most compact of all six-round 357 Magnums available today. But Kimba didn't stop there in tailoring the K6 for carry, shrouding the hammer and smoothing every line so it melts seamlessly onto the person while remaining quick on the draw. Obviously, the K6 comes with the usual challenges inherent to a 2-inch barreled 357 but the company has done everything to put the shooter in the driver's seat. This includes excellent grip ergonomics that gives shooters superior control over the gun, and to top it all off, a match-grade trigger comes standard. Charter Arms Undercover The Undercover was the first revolver produced by the Connecticut-based Charter Arms Company since its foundation in 1964. At the time of its introduction, the undercover featured a highly innovative design with few moving parts and a high-strength one-piece frame made of stainless steel capable of handling heavier loads without prematurely wearing out. Although the company has since expanded its catalog and modernized many of its classic offerings, the undercover has remained in production, in large part due to its popularity with civilians and law enforcement officers seeking a small, concealable revolver. If you're looking for a 100% US-made lightweight revolver chambered in 38 Special and capable of accepting high-pressure plus P loads, the modern production version of the Charter Arms Undercover may be the ideal choice for you. Colt King Cobra Carry Unless you've lived under a rock the past couple of years, it's impossible to miss Colt is back in the double-action revolver game. The rebooted Snake Gunline has started all sorts of chatter, but none more than the return of the King Cobra 357 Magnum. No longer sized for duty, the relatively demure six-round revolver has all the makings of a superb concealed carry option, particularly now with the release of a bobbed hammer model. Arm yourself with more concealed carry knowledge. The King Cobra carry is nearly identical to the hammer model released in early 2019, except the spur has been shaved off and it's outfitted with a 2-inch barrel. These modifications give the revolver excellent carry characteristic, the terse barrel making it as simple to tote around as most snubby 38 specials. The bobbed hammer accentuates its already snag-free frame. Yet, there are a couple of things to keep in mind with the King Cobra. First and foremost, a 2-inch barrel isn't going to facilitate magnum performance. It won't be down to plus P38 standards, but it isn't going to punch up either. Further, all that burning powder has to go somewhere, and that's in a burst of flame from the muzzle. To the hammer, well, the gun is a straight DAO, which if you're buying for carry might not cause concern. <laughs>